at no point before we privatized the Bolido was the government making any huge money off the lottery. So to, to, talk, to say that it's a $500 million contract is absolute nonsense. That's outrageous. But how did the contract come about? As when we first privatized it, we invited people to tender for the contract. There were three applications, I think, we, I, I'm trying to recollect what the report was that came to cabinet. I may be wrong, but I believe there were three applicants. Uh, I heard somebody in there talk about the Olympic Association. Indeed, that was one of the applicants. Clearly, the lotteries committee looked at the three applications, decided that Brad's or the Brad's concern was best suited uh, went to finance as well. There was that concurrence, and so Brads was selected. That did come to cabinet to see if we had any difficulty with it. Initially, I had protested because one of the other two applicants was offering to pay rather more to government. It turned out that that applicant had been the beneficiary of another lotteries contract, couldn't pay his obligations, still owed the government, and clearly did not have the financial wherewithal for the uh, tenders, the lotteries committee that did the initial evaluation to be comfortable with. So it struck us that the selection of Brad's was a fair one in all the circumstances. In any event, that decision of the lotteries committee had to be backstopped by the contractor general. The contractor general is, if you know him, an extremely meticulous individual. He examined the contracts. The question of how the, what the shareholding makeup is of the company that Brad's used in, 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 in the name of which Brad's made the application. Perhaps the contractor general went into that. I'm not quite sure what that has to do with the merits of the bid that the company made. But if it is of some relevance, no doubt the contractor general went into that. The fact is the contractor general certified that the contract was entirely proper. I made the required report uh, to the House. It was debated because there was an argument back and forth. It was examined uh, by the members of the House. I think it went to the Senate as well for examination. I don't see how at this stage now uh, that matter can be revived in the House. I'm sure that properly it can't, and that's why ultimately the Speaker had to shut down the member for Kaya. So, But if what he was trying to say is true, the suggestion that my son is somehow uh, concerned with one of the companies that make up the sort of umbrella group for which Brad's was the representative. I don't know what that has to do with the price of rice.